to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader. Today's reading is full moon messages. We'll take a look at your next lunar cycle from full moon to full moon, along with any energies coming to completion with this full moon. Please remember, this is a general reading lots of people and lots of messages. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're looking for a more personalized reading, I do offer private readings, thereby gift exchange, meaning I will do your reading for you as a gift. I ask that you respond with a monetary gift. Whatever amount you feel is appropriate will be perfect. That way my readings are affordable to everybody. If you'd like more information or to get on my schedule, please email me at Terry's Inspired Tarot at gmail.com and I'll get you whatever information you need or onto my schedule if that's what you desire. Now, looking at today's general full moon messages reading, we have reading number one with the full moon in Leo. Reading number two with the full moon in Aquarius. Reading number three with the full moon in Taurus. Reading number four with the full moon in Sagittarius. And reading number five with the full moon in Gemini. Please select your reading intuitively. Your intuition is not gonna lead you wrong and you don't have to pick your sun sign if it does happen to be here Follow your intuition, whatever it leads you towards. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump into these readings now. So I will see you guys there. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number one with the full moon in Leo. Your very first message of the reading is to go wild. Let your hair down, go wild, embrace nature, however that resonates with you, but that is the message. Now, let's take a look at what you can expect. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number one, please show us their next lunar cycle from this full moon to the next, including any energies coming to completion with this full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's take a look. High Priestess, so start off with intuition. Your intuition is on point. This next lunar cycle, there's gonna be lots of intuitive messages coming in, so make sure you're trusting your gut. Oh, Ace of Cups. That talks about starting something new that is emotionally fulfilling for you. Could mean new relationships, new heart-bound friendships, situations where your emotions are tied up in them in a good way. Nine of Swords, that talks about a feeling of anxiety. I'm not talking about a diagnosis here. I'm talking about a feeling, worrying about how things are going to play out, worrying how it's all going to work out. We're going to get Oracle on this one. We'll see what's going on there. Strength. All right, so right after the anxiety comes strength. Your guides want you to know from the very beginning, your strength is going to be enough to get you through whatever's in this lunar cycle for you. Ooh, king of coins. I like it. It could represent some abundance coming in for you. It could represent this person that's coming into your realm that you're going to start a new connection with. The king of coins is a beautiful energy. It talks about um, wanting to be the one that steps up and takes care of things. Wanting to be the one that gets the call so that they can kind of come in and save the day. Now, I want to get Oracle and we're going to look at the Nine of Swords. What is there in this Nine of Swords for group number one, please? Thank you, thank you. It is time to take action and don't let pride get in your way. All right, so during this month, you're going to have this beginning, this emotional beginning, somewhere in this lunar cycle from this full moon that's happening right now to the next full moon. Something's going to come in that is a new emotional beginning, a new relationship, um, something that connects to you on an emotional level. doesn't have to be a relationship, but your emotions will definitely be tied into it. There's going to be some level of anxiety 
where you're worried about, well, if I do this, how's it going to play out? Um, what are people going to think? Is my family going to like this person? What about my kids? All kinds of different things um, to worry about. Are, are they going to hurt me in the future? You know, all kinds of different things. You are told to take action. It is time to take action. So even though you have these fears about how it's going to play out, take action and don't let pride stop you from moving forward. Now, we have got a lot of very large cats here. Um, we've got our tiger, we've got a lion, we've got another lion. Um, there is a, a wonderful like inner strength energy here. You're told not to let pride overcome you. Don't be afraid to say what's on your heart. I mean, like when you think about like your, your companion cat, like your house cat, they tell you how they feel. <laughs> like they will, they will knock your coffee cup off your counter because they are irritated that you have not paid attention to them yet today. Um, they, they tell you how they feel and I'm not suggesting you go breaking dishes. I'm suggesting that you use your strength to let your inner light shine to be honest about how you feel. I want to get a, um, we're going to get a spell casting here as well. With regards to the Ace of Cups and intuition, please. Career, beautiful. So that, you know, that is really good to come out there because I kind of felt like when we were looking at this, like it's a relationship for a lot of you. It is a relationship. But for some of you, your emotions are tied into it, but it's not a person. And the career is coming out here just to kind of validate that, that, you know, for some of you, this emotional connection is in your career. It is you taking a step towards something you truly desire. It is you putting, you know, pushing forward down your career path. So beautiful intuition affecting your career. For some of you, the emotional beginning is career related. For some of you, it's person related. However, it resonates with you. No matter what you're doing though, it's time to take action when you feel that anxiety. When you start worrying about how the future is gonna play out, that's the time for action. Don't let your pride stop you. You take action, you move forward. You get the strength to deal with any and everything and there is a beautiful energy of abundance as well as someone helping you or you helping others. Very generous, loving energy coming from the King of Coins. Um, wanting to take care of things, wanting to be the person. So that is wonderful energy to guide you through this lunar cycle. All right, that is all I have for reading number one. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number two with the full moon in Aquarius. Your first message of the reading is to be real. So it's important in your life to just keep things really real. Be very honest. Be real as you move through this next lunar cycle. Now let's take a look at what you can expect. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors. For group number two, Please show us their next lunar cycle from full moon to full moon, along with any energies coming to completion with this full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. All right, Palace of Swords talks about meditating, figuring out your action steps. There's going to be an ending, something you walk away from. Um, whatever ends, whatever's better out in the future to replace it, is, it's going to be better than whatever is ending. So you're walking away from something, letting it go, moving into a new energy that is better in nature. Palace of Swords, wow. The Palace of Swords talks about living in a place of your passions. So I feel like you step away from something and it's through action of your own probably and it brings you into a place of living in your passions. Six of Cups, this could be you reconnecting with someone from your past. This could be you looking back at your past and really um, realizing your growth, really recognizing how far you've come. Ace of Cups, that is a new beginning of an emotional sort. All right, so I feel like this lunar cycle, um, you guys are gonna keep it really real. Um, some of you are in relationships that do not resonate with you. And I don't necessarily mean the other person is toxic. I mean, it just doesn't resonate. 
it's not for you. Things don't work. Things have not been working for a while. You've been thinking about it for a while. Um, letting go, moving on from this. Um, for some of you, you're going to spend some time thinking about that this next lunar cycle, and you're going to make the choice to um, walk away into your own future. You're going to let go of the past. And for some of you, you may be hanging on to a love from way back when that you're finally going to let go of so that you can move into your future. Letting go is what leads you forward into something better than whatever it is you let go of. You're going to find yourself dwelling in a place of your passions, reconnecting to your younger self. Now, this could be reconnecting to a passion um, from your youth, so you know, some or from your younger days, it doesn't have to go all the way back to your childhood, but reconnecting with someone from your past that is a passionate connection. It can also be you finding a passion for yourself again, um, really engaging in your passions, really um, following your, you know, your music, your energy, your drummer to live in a place where your passions are energized. You're going to recognize your growth. You're going to see your growth. You're going to step into the beautiful energy of you. And there is a new emotional connection coming in. Um, so for some of you, again, this is a person. You know, this could, this, all of this together could be you leaving a relationship, stepping into a relationship with someone from your past. For a lot of you, I'm sure that's what this is. For some of you, this is you finding that emotional connection with yourself realizing that you're worth your energy, seeing your growth, appreciating you, letting yourself indulge in your passions, finding that new love for yourself that you've been looking for. It's time to be real this lunar cycle. Things are ending, things are starting. I'm going to get I'm going to get one oracle here and it's just going to be on the Palace of Swords. The Palace of Swords talks about meditating to figure out what action you need to take. I'm just going to ask for whatever advice is beneficial to you guys in that general energy. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the Palace of Swords for group number two, please. Show the world the real you. Does it say be real? Show the world the real you. That's the action. Let the people... Okay. Um, all right. So you need to let the world see who you are. Uh, somebody here, and probably not everybody, but at least someone or a couple of someone's here um you are in a relationship that does not suit you because you um you like people of a different gender you know um some of you are um in you know straight relationships that um need to really in embrace who you are on the inside stop hiding you know it is absolutely okay to love who you love and I know that's really easy to say and really hard to do, but the people that are meant for you are going to rally to support you. They are. They're going to rally to support you. My, my son is gay, and I absolutely rally to support him. He got married last weekend. It was super exciting for all of us. You know, tears of joy and happiness and wonderfulness, and you can have that. You don't have to pretend to be something that you're not, okay? Um, now that's not everybody. So please just take it if it's meant for you. And if it's not, just leave it alone. Let it go. It's somebody else. But for some of you, you're pretending to be something that you're not. You need to show the world who you are. The person that you're with needs to know that that's just, that's just not who you are. It doesn't resonate with you. Uh, you can love them, but not be in love with them. You, you, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like for those of you that this is for, you know what I'm talking about. It's time to leave behind kind of the disguise relationship and move into what resonates with your soul. Okay. Um, start by loving yourself. Start by embracing your passion. Start by letting your flag fly, you know, like just let you be you and then move forward into what the universe is going to bring in. So like I said, if that's not for you, let it go. It's not for everybody, but there are a couple of you that are still kind of in the closet, maybe in relationships that just don't resonate with you. And it's time for you to let people see who you are. So be real, move forward. This is going to be a big month for you, but your people, the ones that are part of your soul family, they're going to stand up and support you. A lot of them are probably going to be like, yeah, we knew that we were waiting for you to figure it out. So best of luck to you and um, all of you. That's all I have. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. 
Bye bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number three with the full moon in Taurus. Your first message of the reading is to detoxify. So maybe some things have gotten in your life, some habits, some people, some situations, whatever it is. This next lunar cycle, some of that's coming to an end. So you're going to need to detoxify anything that's not good for you. Now, let's take a look at what you can expect. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number three. Please show us their next lunar cycle from this full moon to the next, along with any energies coming to completion with this full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Palace of Coins, that talks about living in a place of stability. King of Wands, that represents passion. Um, it can represent a person, very passionate energy, could be you or someone you're dealing with. It can also say that it's time to really dive into your creative passions. If there's something you've been wanting to do, write a book, uh, write music, paint paintings, whatever. Whatever it is, whatever your art is, whatever your creativity is. Um, if you've been looking at that and wanting to do that, but been worried that maybe you wouldn't be successful, this is a really good sign. Um, the King of Wands says that people are going to be attracted to your energy. They're going to see the passion that you put into your creativity, and they're going to be attracted to it. Five of Coins and the Emperor. The Five of Coins talks about fear around monetary situations. Not It doesn't actually mean like poverty. It means the fear of it. And we've got this Palace of Coins here. So I feel like you guys are making some decisions with regards to maybe your career. Maybe some of you are thinking about putting a lot of energy into a creative passion. Um, the emperor comes out to remind you that you're in charge of your realm. You're, you make the decisions that guide you down the path you want to go down. Strength. And you have the strength to do it. So if you feel called to a creative passion, if you want to start a small business or, you know, um, start writing again or... Um, you know, start singing again or whatever it is that you do, whatever it is that you do, um, start your own you know, YouTube channel or your own TikTok or whatever. Um, you can make the decision to do that. Now I'm going to see what's going on with the five of coins because it talks about fear around money, but we started with the palace of coins and this is the full moon in Taurus. Taurus is an earth energy and it's very, um, material related, like they need the stability of material things the Tauruses do. Now, um, and it doesn't mean you have to be a Taurus, I'm just saying that's like the energy of it is very materially related. Now, the Five of Coins, please. Guidance for group number three regarding this Five of Coins. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, good deal. So I feel like this next lunar cycle, like this energy, maybe you've been worrying about money for a long time, but you've had this idea of what if I dive into my passion? What if I, you know, start making videos? What if I start this or that? Or I mean, just whatever it is. I can't list every possible creative thing. You know what creatively is calling you. If you step into that, this tough cycle where you've worried about money is coming to an end. You're going to step into a stable monetary situation by following your passions. Your passions tend to be part of how your guides guide you to your callings. Now, the emperor says this is your choice. This doesn't have to happen, but it's your choice. If you choose to follow your passions, it is going to have a positive impact on your material realm. The end of the cycle of worrying about money is at hand for you. If you choose to follow your passions, you have the strength to do this. And that doesn't mean wake up tomorrow and quit your job. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying listen to your heart, follow your passions, jump in, follow your intuition. This tough cycle of dealing with money is coming to a close and your passions are what lead you into the answer. You have to make the choice though. If you don't make the choice, nothing changes. It is entirely up to you. All right, that is all I have for reading number three. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. 
hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number four with the full moon in Sagittarius. Your first message of the reading is to see the bigger picture. So this lunar cycle, you're going to be kind of um, looking at that upper level energy in your life. There may be things that happen, but that's because of the effect they have on the big picture, like your future. Now let's see what you can expect. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for group number four, please. Please show us their next lunar cycle from this full moon to the next, along with any energies coming to completion with this full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Four of Swords, that starts off with talking about taking rest, okay? So whatever you've been dealing with, whatever you're gonna deal with, it's important to make sure you're getting rest, you're taking care of you. Queen of Coins, that talks about generosity. That is probably your energy that's being represented there, where you just have a generous energy where you give and give and give and give. You also need to take care of you, okay? Five of Wands, that talks about fighting. Um, there may be some controversy in this next lunar cycle, We'll get Oracle on that one. King of Swords, there is a challenge, a significant challenge. The King of Swords can also represent a person, um, maybe someone you're dealing with, highly intelligent, action-oriented, strategic. For most of you, it probably represents some significant challenge where you're gonna have to strategize your way through it. You're gonna have to kind of bring all the pieces together and find a resolution to the challenge. The Hermit. The Hermit talks about meditating, spending time by yourself, working on your spiritual development, your spiritual growth, um, really getting in connection with your higher self. Your higher self is probably going to have the answer to whatever this challenge is, so that's a good way to move forward through it. All right, so yes, there are challenges for you in this next lunar cycle. There's no doubt about it. You've got controversy, you've got the King of Swords, you've got the need to meditate. Your guides are saying, hey, something's going to happen. It's going to be controversial. It's going to be a real challenge for you. They want you to know it is big picture energy. So whatever is happening, yes, it may be difficult in the moment, but it's to put you on a path that is better for you. It is to help you navigate through something, to deal with a lesson or something like that, that is part of your purpose. So there are big picture things happening for you in this lunar cycle. Now, I wanna get Oracle on the Five of Wands just to kind of see what the advice is, because sometimes the advice is walk away and then sometimes the advice is don't give up. So let's see what they have regarding the Five of Wands. Angels, spirit guides, ancestors for group number four. Five of Wands, please. Your advice on how they should deal with it. A time to give rather than take. Okay, so take that however it resonates with the situation that you're in. I normally feel like it means give freely of your energy or, um, you know, maybe in this situation it's not to take any, you know, nonsense to make sure that people understand your position in whatever argument you're dealing with. Again, take it however it resonates for you. It, um, it's going to be different for all of you. So it's a time to give rather than take. Um, and that, that could really go both ways, but you'll know in the moment uh, what your guides are leading you towards. Now, I also want to get spell casting on the hermit. What is there for the hermit with regards to the meditation and connecting to higher self? new beginnings. Okay. So as you deal with this challenge, yes, you may experience an ending. Um, it's going to look different for all of you, uh, but it's going to be a challenge where you really have to strategize your way through. You really have to meditate and ask your guides for assistance. It's not going to be easy. And you have this beautiful, generous energy, which is going to probably make it even more of a challenge because you want to help everybody. You want to take care of everything. And that, you know, for some of you, that may be um, something that you push yourself too hard in and you need to take some time to rest. You need to kind of step back from always being the one giving everything you have and take some rest. When it comes to the fighting, you've got this, it's better to, it's time to give rather than take. So I feel like if you're taking a bunch of nonsense from people in your life, maybe it's time to give a little back and, you know, make sure you're standing up and, you know, taking up your space. But again, please take it however it resonates with you. 
The challenges are going to be significant, but you're going to get through it. Your guides want to be there to help you, so you need to meditate. If you meditate, they're going to lead you right into this new beginning, which brings us back to the big picture thing. Whatever it is that happens to you during this lunar cycle, it's going to have an effect on your big picture, on your future. So hang in there, meditate, get your answers, and move into your new beginning, because the new beginning looks fantastic. All right, that is all I have for reading number four. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls that selected reading number five with the full moon in Gemini. Your first message of the reading is to embrace the flow of life. So make sure you are just kind of letting life flow with you, not resisting changes, but enjoying things as they move through your energy. Now let's take a look at what you can expect. Angels spirit guides, ancestors. Please show us for group number five, their next lunar cycle from full moon to full moon, along with any energies coming to completion with this full moon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's take a look. Three of swords, okay. So there's some kind of heartbreak you're dealing with. You may already be in this energy page of wands that talks about reconnecting to your passion eight of wands that talks about things moving quickly the sun that talks about positivity growth beautiful energy and the ten of cups that can talk about moving happy peaceful home life energy beautiful energy wow okay so this is a pretty clear picture there is something that either has happened or is getting ready to happen that is heartbreaking um, I doesn't, I'm not going to specify what it is that you don't need to be guessing whenever you get there, you'll be like, yep, that was heartbreaking. Okay. So you're going to deal with something heartbreaking. Your guides say, okay, when you encounter this heartbreaking energy, embrace the flow of life, reconnect to your passion, whether it is creative passion or whatever it looks like, reconnect to your passions. Indulging in your passions is going to help things to flow very quickly. It's going to help to alleviate this broken heart energy. It's going to help you move into a very positive energy. Moving into this positive energy is going to bring in very blessed energy. You living in a place of peace, having peaceful family connections, possibly even moving somewhere that you know you desire. There is beautiful energy. So whatever is heartbreaking, just make sure you dive, dive into your passions. That is the answer. I'm going to get Oracle on this as well, but you come through this very quickly. The sun is super positive, probably the most positive card in tarot. So there is lots of positivity out in front of you. The heartbreak, you move through it quickly. Your passions are the key to coming through it. You do have to embrace the flow of life with its downs and then ups. And this, there is a kind of a down that you have to deal with. But the up that comes afterwards is fantastic. So just hang in there. You got this. Let's see advice on the Three of Swords. All right, it is time to release negativity. What do you need to release? Well, negativity, okay. Um, so yeah, whatever it is you've been heartbroken about or whatever it is that happens that you become heartbroken about, there is something you need to release. Let go of whatever it is. Embrace the flow of life. So release whatever it is that's hurting your heart. Um, make sure you release ne negativity, let go of anything that's not for you, and then dive right into your passions. Things start moving forward again at a very good speed, and you have beautiful, positive energy, positive, happy home life. For some of you, it's moving. Um, let's get, hang on. I want to get a spell casting over here because it's just such positive energy. What is there for the sun into the Ten of Cups? Animals, okay. So um, the animals card tends to like either mean that you've got spirit animals, 
talking to you, um, seeing the same animal over and over again, or it means that that's just too broad and there's not really anything to add to it. Um, there, there is beautiful energy out in front of you. I, I feel like many of you have guides, maybe birds or butterflies, or, you know, there's, there's two dogs here, maybe dogs, maybe you keep seeing the same type of dog. Your guides are moving you forward. They are guiding you through spirit animals. But the real thing that is the majority of your focus is releasing what needs to be released, focusing on your passion, and then just kind of riding the flow into this very positive energy. You have got this. I know it may seem difficult in the beginning, but it's going to be wonderful by the time you get to where you're going. All right, that is all I have for reading number five. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you enjoyed your reading, please make sure you click that subscribe button. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.